Hi everyone, my name is Eric Lehnen and I'm a marketing consultant here over at Red Path Consulting Group and today I'd like to show you something really cool in Pardot. So have you ever built a drip program and wanted to know when a prospect has completed that drip? Well today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do that. So the prerequisite for this drip program is making sure that you have a list already built and today we're just going to send this off to all customers and keep in mind that this is just a demo account that I'm using so I'm not going to be able to send out any emails to prospects. Furthermore we want to make sure that we have some emails that are set up and these are three different email templates I set up. Uh, they actually don't have much in there so we don't really care about that but what's important is that we are going to be setting up this drip program and then setting a tag at the end of it to notify that uh, someone has actually completed that specific drip. Uh, so one of the things to keep in mind when using tags is you don't want to use too many because uh, oftentimes you'll have hundreds and then at some time uh, you'll look at all these tags and try to run reports and there's just going to be too many of them. So what I recommend is usually trying to create tags based on a specific campaign or time frame so when the campaign is done and you've done your necessary reports over time you can clear that out so that you don't have a huge cluster inside of Pardot. And again, it's always trying to keep it clean and manageable for the future. So we're going to create a new drip and call this new product drip. I'm not going to add a tag, I'm just going to set it in the folder and then just set that um, there because that's our default time zone. I'm going to go ahead and add my customer list and if you have uh, other drips processing the background uh, that you don't want to conflict with this so you don't overwhelm people use this uh, suppression list to make sure that you're not bogging down people's inboxes. Now the logic. I always like to put a one day pause on my drip because sometimes you forget to do something and you uh, come to the office next day and then you find out that everything's processed and you sent out an email to people that you shouldn't have. I always have this buffer one day period so that it goes out first thing in the morning the next day and if I ever need to make changes prior to the email sending out I have a day to do that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is send out our intro drip and then we're going to follow that up by another email which is the product overview and then drip number three which would be kind of an in-depth demo so this is kind of a real-world example we'd like to build and let's say we're gonna space this out a couple days in between so here's a very basic drip that someone is gonna be processing through and receiving these emails and we're just gonna send them these emails regardless if they've opened or clicked but at the end of this um, uh, we want to notify a specific salesperson that they have completed it. So we're going to use this tag. We're going to call this product drip completed. So just by adding this tag on here, now we know that they've actually completed this drip. Another thing you could probably do on there is if this is going to be an ongoing thing, you can maybe add something called fall 2015 so you know that this was specific for this drip and if you were to build any subsequent drips similar to this one now you have a way to keep going forward and building on top of this. So we're going to add that uh, tag on there and then that's all we need to do in this part of the drip program. The real magic is going to happen using an automation rule as uh, our notification device. So we're going to have this automation rule work and coincide with that drip program and we're going to say anyone who has the tag of that product drip completed fall 2015 that we want to either assign them to someone uh, if they aren't already assigned or what uh, we want to do in this case is to just to notify the assigned user. And we're just going to save that. So that's it. 
to recap, all we did was we created a drip program here that's going to send out a series of emails and at the end of it, it adds a tag on the end of it so that anyone that processes through, it's going to note that that individual prospect has in fact completed that drip program. And then our automation rule here will in real time update people. So here's another thing to consider too, is if you're using, uh, let's say a giant static list. So in this case, I was going to be sending this off to all of our customers. Well, once this whole drip processes, because each person uh, that goes through it is going to be going through at the same time with everyone else as one big uh, push of emails. So all the signed users are going to get hundreds of emails saying, hey, these people have completed. Well, that's a little overwhelming. So you probably don't want to do that. You want to kind of stagger it out over time by adding people to a static list or in this case, using a dynamic list so that as people match that criteria, they will then subsequently go through that drip over time. But again, if they if you have a large group of people that match this dynamic list, let's say a thousand people, well, that's a thousand people that are going to go through that drip all at the same time. So always be cognizant of how many emails are going to be sent out to your sales reps so you don't overwhelm them. Uh, and just trying to be mindful of kind of their workload. So this was an easy and quick way to notify people that have completed a drip program. If you have any questions about how to set up drips or any other questions about Pardot in general, feel free to drop us a line at redpathcg.com or find us on social media. Thanks.